Hi guys, it's Maria here from Sweden, aka Planning Mother of Three. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today it's time for the lineup of 2023. I've got my all of my planners except for two. Uh, I'm waiting for Sterling Inc. She is launching or she has already launched a new planner a little bit like um the hubunichi cousin but in the size of b6 and or b5 sorry and i am so waiting for that one very happy to see that or is it b6 b6 b5 a smaller size of the a5 anyway we'll see We'll come back about that one. And I am waiting for uh, the insert, the Traveler's Company's insert of the week, the vertical version. Uh, I thought I bought that, but uh, I must have lost it in my, my, in my cart. So um, I have done a new order for that one. But other than that, I think I'm pretty, you know, ready for 2023. Um, I showed a picture and I did a reel on Instagram where you could see all of the planners together with some matching uh, covers. And I thought I was going to talk a little bit about them now here when we are ending October of 2022. Um, the first planner that I am actually already using is this one. This is the Hobonichi Cousin a6 five-year planner i had one in a5 that was from the 2022 to 2026 but it got quite heavy and as i am going back and forth i really needed a smaller version and as i am not you know the biggest fan of the a6 size i was a little bit hesitant uh if i would like this but i do i love it so much um it's a 2023 to 2027 and i'll show you how it looks inside you have an overview of all of the years that are included like this and then it starts right away with the first day of the month and the year and the you know whatever the first of january 2023 and here you can see 23 24 25 6 and 7 and then you have space to write here um like i'll show you here so here we have the the years and then you have space either to to continue the 23 year here or if you want to write something else what i decided to do was that i wanted to um, uh, log some of the past planners that i've had not all of them because they are plenty and i have a lot of information in them but the ones that are small that i probably won't you know i don't feel feel any happiness of keeping them because i haven't used them unless for a week or a month or two or three months or so forth. Uh, so what I did was that I backlogged them and put them here. Um, and that's what I did also for the A5. So what I'm doing right now is transferring everything from the A5 into the A6 that I already had done. Pew, you see? Uh, and what I do is I say 2022 and then I write about the day here and then I look, you know, I found the 2021 and the 2020 and I might find something about 1918 or 2009, whatever. And I use different colors just to show different years. And here we go. Uh, and I am very happy uh, about this. What I do now as I am using this one daily um i use the right hand page and i write about the year uh my day here like for instance this was yesterday so i'm gonna sit here right now and i'm gonna fill this in and then tonight i'm gonna write about the the 22nd of october so pretty nice and i love the size of it i am um, not deciding yet if I'm going to start using stickers and washes and so forth in this one because it's getting so chunky. And I also seen how the, the binding on the back has gone, you know, has broken. 
And uh, I really would like this one to live all the way to the end of 2027, the next upcoming five years. I've put this one into a cover that I specially ordered this year for this one. I was thinking first of buying the, the one in leather because that's the one I have in my A6. But uh, the leather is so nice and smooth and I am a little bit, you know, as it is, as it is, I am thinking all the time, okay, should I bring it with me? Should it lay in the sun or what should I do with it? And uh, well, I think this one is a better one. You don't need to be that conscious or careful about it. I, I thought I was going to find the day today. Here we go. So I'll put that one here. So this one is already in use, A6. And yeah, I wanted to talk to you a little bit because when I was going back and looking into my old planners, I got a little bit sad, you know, realizing how many times I've written that I'm tired, exhausted, stressed. I have stress symptoms, brain fog, you know, tickling in the skin, can't sleep or sleep bad and, you know, menopause, so, so, so many. And every time I write, so now I really have to, so now it's time for me. So now I have to, you know, to get healthier. And um, yeah, that made me realize, and it's not new, a new thing, but that made me really you know, at first I got sad about it, uh, a little bit disappointed on myself, uh, but then I went quickly to feel, uh, you know, you know, I have to be kind to myself and say, okay, now it's your turn, Maria. You really have to make this your golden year. So I am going to have a planner that will be my dedicated health planner. And uh, that will be in my golden weeks, the one uh, that has launched this year from Hobonichi 2023. So here we have everything that will be around my health. And as I have started today, actually, already, I will probably do some, um, you know, writing here uh, in the end of the planner. The problem is, and that's because I really, you know, I'm thinking theme golden year. And I think this would be so nice to use for that purpose. But the problem is that if I am consistent, well, then I will only have 70 pages or 75 maybe for my memos and writing. But I'm thinking of using uh, this also for the writing, the memos, the journaling. So I hope, I hope that this one will uh, last for the whole year and for the purpose that I need. Because I think the, the theme of golden and feeling golden, I'm in my golden age. I just turned 57. Um, that would be nice. But if I change my mind, well, then I have some different week, mega weeks that I can use for that purpose. I have a purple and I have a pink. I'll show you that. And these two, they come with 100 and... Oh, I, I can never remember how many pages there are in the... 200 pages, over that, 215 pages in the mega. So I will either keep on the golden theme or I will choose one of these two, uh, probably this one, because here we have the golden. We'll see. If you have an idea as how I can be sure that I will, you know, everything will be kept sweet in this one, well, or, yeah, now I just, I'm always getting the nicest ideas when I talk to you guys. If this one would be my health planner, where I typically, I mean, if you look in, into this one, it's it has the same inside of everything, but except for more memo pages. So if this, this would be my health planner, I would use, for instance, this one as a weight log, of course. 
And this one is for my um, working out, you know, vlogging that. And then here we have the, the um, what I'm eating, what I'm because that I will log that digital, but I might write that here. And then we have some health log here, general ones, maybe. I'm not I'm not sure yet. And then I journal about the things that I am, you know, in the into this one mega, I journal about thoughts and everything on the back. That could be nice. I don't want to open this one if I was going to sell it. That's why I'm talking about it because of this one is I'm going to keep for sure. And then this could be used for gratitude because I really need to, you know, memorize and make myself remember how grateful I am about my life. Um, mm, haven't decided yet, but this is uh, for sure uh, my health project together with, for instance, the beautiful cover from Maria Bojo Planner. Okay, so that was that. And then we have the Everyday Carry, and that's the Passport Traveler's Notebook, together with the one, this one, the Weeks. And this one is for sure a mega, and this one is with a sneaker cover. That means that you can bend it, and it's all, it's all smooth and easy to, to work with. And as you can see, it lays flat on the table, so there is no, there is nothing to be afraid of with this one. Um, I had with a hardcover this year, but this next upcoming year, I will start with a soft cover because I love that one. It's a little bit smaller than the hardcover. If you would look here, you can see that the hardcover goes. A little bit outside here and here, um, but um, I love I love the feeling of the soft cover, and I really do love the blue color this year. And I was thinking of starting this one up into my anemone cover, and I always put it like this. Let's see, and I think it looks really good. And then you close it very easily because there, as it is so thin uh, and you have the space for having a, a pen here if you would like to. Like for instance, the Hobonichi pen that you put like this. Nice. And then you just close it as it is. So yeah, that's, and this one is uh, something where I log the, um, the uh, my appointments you know i got an, a weekly overview and i carry it around uh, very easily as well as in this one and together with the new inserts from the travelers company and they look like this so here we have um, these two everyday carries and i will come back how i will use them uh, later on okay and then we are going to i think we're going to go to my business planner because that one is the one that i am in uh you know having that is activated already uh, and i use the hubonichi avic uh, and that's because my i have i own my own company and my financial year starts by july and then we go all the way to end of june and um, the Hubunichi uh, cousin Avec, they all, you know, I can use them as they um, are divided into two. So here I have my July to December, and then I will combine this planner together with the January to June. So I will get, when I finish this year, I'll put this one into this side. And this one will be on this side. And uh, so I can keep, you know, planning 
my weeklies as I use in the Hobonichi Cousin. And if I haven't finished, for instance, my my notes, my memos, sorry, it's all messy here. I'll just put it here. Um, my notes, uh, well, then I can keep going and using this. And then when I finish them here, I'll start here. Because what I decided was that I won't... Um, okay, I'll show you here. Um, here you have daily pages. This one starts with yearly overview. You get... Uh, I'll show you here. You get yearly overview. And then you have your six months overview as well as the other six months of the whole year. And then you have the monthly overview. This one starts in the end of November, right? And I use the monthlies and I also use these because I really need the overview. I'm an overview person, right? So that's why I love the weeklies. Um, and I can't really show you because I have a lot of private, well, not personal because it's a business planner, but it's private for the clients that I work with. So I can't really show, oops, sorry. I can't really show you um, the spreads, but I can show you what I actually have done. I have, sorry, oops, sorry. I have marked. So here I can show you, uh, show, I can show myself the appointments that are made. So I can have an idea of how much work I have until the end of the year. I haven't written yet the, the name of the project, so the name of the clients, but this gives me a really good overview of how booked I am. And I am, I will tell you that. Um, and then here on the monthly overview of, for instance, uh, November, uh, I've marked with colors so I, my eyes can really easily see when I am fully booked. And you can, well, I am, it, I am also fully booked here. So I have actually, you know, just these two days and this day uh, and this and everything else is fully booked. Um, and here is also a way for me to show myself um, whatever I have left of days that are free. Uh, and here I am free on Friday, but I'm trying to have my Fridays free for planning and administration and some free time. But I have Fridays here and then I have some Tuesdays here. And I would, you know, I could say, OK, well, that's that's good. That makes this month really good. But then I know that I have a couple of clients or 10 different clients that haven't gotten their hours, their appointments yet. So I will probably uh, be, a, be booking up at least two or three more days of this month before I am finished up for this year. But where was I? Yes. So after the weekly spreads, as you know, they look like this, the dailies come. And what I did in the beginning was that I had I had my note taking of the day when I did the note. You understand? Like for instance, today it's the twenty second of November, uh, October. So I would write everything of importance here, but that was you know making me kind of confused, and I had sometimes a hard time you know finding the special note because as I'm writing my notes, it's like. My brain is register. Uh, it's is regi is making a re is registry. <laughs> well, how what do you say? How, well, my brain's archive is going from if I do one thing here and the next thing, like writing a new note for another day. Well, then that will be archived next to the thing that I did the previous time. You understand? And if that wasn't the day after each other, but that this was the first and this was the 10th, well, what happens between here then from the second to the ninth and what will, how will I use these? And I will also get lost because then I don't really know if it was the first or the 10th and I have some notes between and everything. So 
I skip that idea and then I use these pages as they were in a, you know, ordinary notebook. So now I am actually finishing uh, September. So after written here, I will go to December uh, or sorry, October and I will start writing even though I am in November. And I find the things here also in the index where I write, you know, the page number. I made a page number here so I can refer back and see and get it easily. If there is something of a major character, I'll put that on the index. Not if I have just, you know, some, you know, some notes. So here it is when we I carry both of them. And that will be the carry I do in um, in springtime. Because so then I have my autumn here and here I have my spring. What I realized, and that was a bummer, I was so sure and so happy because I thought the AVEC was also with the English, uh, with the English quotes and the English uh, information on the backside, but it's not. So the cousin, the ordinary cousin, the, the full year that starts in, in uh, January is in English. And I love, I love, I love the the chosen um, uh, um, fonts, and I love the quotes. I love the colors. I love the feeling. I love everything about this. So here I am, you know, second guessing and thinking I might maybe start my business planner in this one, even though I'll get you know the wrong, the wrong. Um, <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Even though I get the wrong um, uh, year, the financial year wrong. But I'll, I'll, I'm not sure yet. But I will for sure have an A5 anyway. So, and I will also jump into this one when we start the new year. This one is also from the 2023 collection. The brown plaid, um, and I love this one. I have that have it in all all of the three: the A6, the Weeks, and the Cousin. Yeah, and so then, what do we have left? Yes, we do here. Um, here will be my health logging, morning journaling whatever uh, planner in this small tiny as I really love I love 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 as I said my my five year my five year uh, a6 and I have come to find you know the right kind of sorry I used it in this direction um, I used I love the pens the how I write everything around it and I really would like to use this one uh, for the same reason. So I think uh, this will be some kind of a very personal planner uh, or journal or something. Might, might be uh, on the bedside, the side of the bed. We'll see about that. So as you can see and as you can hear, I'm not 100% you know strict about how i'm going to use the planners i know that they're going to be used but not really 100 percent yet about how they will be used but we'll we'll i'll find that out i'm i'm not stressed i'm i'm all good um then we have these two um or should i go well i, sh I should show you this one this is a uh, special uh, ordered from the good impressions that you can order, you can do your ordering on Etsy and it's a Spanish uh, company and they make the most beautiful inserts. I love these much more than the Traveler's Company actually inserts. And I've ordered, so I have the Tomo River paper and I've also asked for sharp corners and for five, not four, for five, and zero five millimeter zero five centimeters or five millimeters uh, grid or yeah yeah grid mm -hmm. 
And this one is all, every, all the way, every day in this one. I'll show you what I carry around. I'll take this one out because this one isn't there yet. <clears throat> Even though I have bookings for January till June, so I could start this one actually. But this one is like this. And these are all here, the back pocket. And as you can see, I have a cover on cover on this one. And this one is from Lauren Phelps. No, it's a Midori cover, I think. Yeah. Mm, this one is always like this. So it's here. And this is where I do my daily log and I love it. Uh, I do some to do's here, of course, on my weeklies. Um, as you can might see here, you see, I have all of it here. Here are the to do's and I love, and it's very, very, very useful for me. But um, this is very comforting and very easy for me to, to use. Uh, I can take it out, I can carry it around, and I can have it next to me wherever I am. And here I do, you know, don't remember, don't, don't remember, please do remember, don't forget. Uh, please don't forget uh, packing lists, uh, lists of whatever I need. And I love how I, I use it. The paper is perfect and I put some small stickers here. I have some critical information so I can show you that. Um, and I love, I love it. I love the feeling. It's a little bit thicker. It, it is a Tomo River paper, but it's a little bit thicker than the Hobonichi. And that makes me very happy. And sometimes I'm thinking that I want to order plenty of the inserts and I will just use these, but then I al always love the Hobonichi. So this one is a good combination together with my cousin. And I have also uh, on the back side here, a small notebook in the week's size uh, where I have all my secret information, logins and so forth. And I have them there. So this is a nice planner that I carry around already okay so where was i yes uh then we have these and these are the traveler companies uh travel notebooks with a weekly and it's called horizontal memo i think mm. weekly memo and they are horizontal and this is the one that I also ordered in the vertical version. I'll get it on Monday, I, I think. Uh, Midori paper, love that. Um, I love also, again, having the overview of the year. And here is uh, everything uh, that I need for my memory planning. But uh, I'm not really sure yet if I'm going to do my memory keep, not memory planning, memory keeping. If I'm going to do the memory keeping on this or if I will do it on the vertical version or if I am all good with the memo for the A, this one size or if I would like to do it in an a Hobonichi A6. Not really sure yet. Uh, but this is something that I have come to love. I'm quite late on using this. I'll show you. I have so many and I love them, as I said. I can't, I, I can say it a couple of times. I love, love, love it. Love, love, love it. Um, and like here, I've done some memory keeping uh, on the vertical. And then here I've done it on the horizontal way. And I love that. Um, so I would probably do a combination of this because memory keeping is very essential for me. Um, yeah, and then I have also bought the monthly insert that I do my gratitude right now in the 2022. So here I have, and it's a monthly overview, simple as that, where you can write something a day. 
or you can doodle or you can do whatever a word of a day mm, nice yeah and of course we're gonna do some traveling and i will do and i will keep and i will use uh the travelers uh company travelers themed uh, covers together with inserts and i have them in the passport size and in the regular size and what I've done when we've traveled is that I take my passport with me. I do some small note-taking, small memories, small journaling. And then I transfer and, then, and I do some, you know, writing and some more, you know, in-depth in the regular size. And I love that. Yes. And finally, we have uh, this one. And this one is an old cover and i'm not does it say calm or peace or something the signs i love it as it is and together with a day free and to, the day free looks like this on the inside i'll show you so it comes with a review of the years and also of the months as you can see and then you have your months from December all the way to January, I think, or March of 2024. And then you have 156, 60, 70, 175 pages that are all for you to write on. And then it's kind of cute. Look at this. The little guy there in the corner. Or maybe I could go this way. Well, anyway. Um, and I will for sure use this in some kind of healthy way. I used it for my Miracle Morning a couple of years ago. And I love that. And I have some, you know, good reminders here. Follow your heart and some really nice, cute sticker, masking sticker papers that are in, in harmony, as well as this little Coffee Monsters Co. here. So yeah, it's a nice, cute little thing that I want to use also for my health. This is my year and I will do everything, everything to stay healthy and have a nice, um, you know, last, what a what a 30 or 40 years um as many of you know i lost my my partner in work last summer because she wasn't that healthy of her life and um that made me a little bit afraid and i'm i met my one of my partner's consultants um i haven't seen him for two years in in real life because or even three years uh, because of the covid and he has lost 30 kilos um and that means about 65 pounds or something and he was so tiny tiny and that's because he was on his way developing type 2 diabetes and so he had to do a really you know big change of life and that was a wake up call for me because you really have one life and you you really have one body, mind, your own health. And I am really, you know, I'm a smart woman. I am capable. So this time it's for me to really do something about my health so that I will write other things than that I'm tired, exhausted, and so forth. I think you understand what I mean. And um, something else that is also, you know, in my life right now is that uh, we have decided that we're going to sell our apartment. Uh, and that's a big change, a uh, very big change, especially in these times also when, you know, everything is uncertain. But uh, we have said that we're going to give it a try and see if someone wants to pay what we want to get for get for it. Because we, 
we haven't been here that much as we got our paradise um, where we want to spend all of our free time. And we said that we need or we don't need all of these square meters and we don't need the sea over this, you know, looking over the sea because we have, we have, we have all of that uh, in our summer house. So now we are ready to go, you know, downscale uh, a little bit and to find um, a place where that will fit our needs uh, for now. But that's another trip uh, or travel or, you know, whatever you call it. Adventure, let's call it an adventure. And I have, of course, started a new insert with the theme of moving so that I we can do all of our lists and what to remember and what not to forget. Yeah, this was a long one, guys. If you're still here, thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked what you've seen and heard. And if you have any questions or comments, please write them down below and Please do take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye.